Manhattan. It's where the action is, and living here is very convenient. But this convenience comes at a cost. Because Manhattan's loud, there's lots of noise, and it's not exactly peaceful. And that pretty much goes for all of Manhattan, except for one specific neighborhood, where you can have peace and quiet while still living in New York City's most popular borough. I'm not talking about the Upper West Side, I'm not talking about the Upper East Side, and I'm certainly not talking about anything downtown. I'm talking about Roosevelt Island. All right, we made it. We're here in Roosevelt Island. And I can't believe that it's included in the borough of Manhattan. I mean, I guess they had to include Roosevelt Island somewhere, but this feels like a park with hotels on it. It definitely doesn't feel like downtown or midtown or even uptown. This seems like a really nice place to live. There's this park that kind of wraps around Roosevelt Island that you can walk along and see the water, which is really relaxing. Here we are at the building and the location here is fantastic. It's just one block from the subway and it's right next to the sky rail. So you've got two options to get straight into Manhattan and it's a full service building. It's got a wrap around panoramic roof deck with amazing views of Manhattan and of Queens. This is one of the best views you're gonna have of Midtown Manhattan anywhere in the city. This is fantastic. We are headed to the 11th floor. Get out of here. This is an incredible apartment. And just look at this view. We are in a two bedroom, two and a half bath in a full service doorman building with a gym and a roof deck and a kid's playroom. Let's take a look. Right when you walk in, the kitchen is to my right. And then you walk into this amazing living room with a gorgeous view, two gorgeous views of Manhattan and of Queens. This is fantastic. And there is just light coming in every which way because this is a corner window which lets in light from two different directions. All right, let's measure this room and see how big it is. This is a ton of space. This is 15 feet, six inches long. 12 feet, two inches wide. You'd easily be able to set this up with a sofa, an entertainment center. You could even put a kitchen table in here if you wanted to. You might not want to because the kitchen has a breakfast bar, but this is so large and so workable. You've got a variety of options. I don't know about you, but this room definitely has my vote. This is awesome. All right, let's check out the kitchen. This is a great kitchen. 
I really like how the breakfast bar is right across from where the living room area is and just how open it makes the entire place feel. It would have been so awful if there was like a wall or something here. And the kitchen itself, it's big. There's plenty of space in here. And if you're in this apartment, you're living here with other people, they would be able to use the kitchen as you're using it. And it has all high-end appliances. It's got a huge stove with five burners. This is a big range. There's a microwave above it with a vent and a hood. And there's plenty of cabinet space all throughout this kitchen. You wouldn't have any problem storing things in here. And if you did, there's a massive closet right here next to where the kitchen and the front door are. This is so convenient because if you wanna store things that are for the kitchen as well as coats, luggage, jackets, all of that can go right here. This is a great dual purpose, large closet. And between the cabinets that you have in this kitchen and the shelf space and storage space that you have right next to it, this is awesome. All right, now we're gonna check out the bedrooms. Now this is a two bedroom, two and a half bath, and I'm really curious to see what the setup is and how the two rooms compare. So I'm just gonna head to this room over here. We're gonna pick one at random. This is really large, 14 feet, one inch by 10 feet, 11 inches. This is a lot of space. And you could have any size bed that you want in this room. And you'd have plenty of room here as well for other furniture. So if you wanna have like a home office or you wanna put some extra dressers or things in here, you could do that. But the closet space in this room is also very, very good. There's a big closet right here which is deep. This is a true walk-in closet. Let's walk in. Yup, this is a true walk-in closet. And if this isn't enough for you, there's an even larger closet right here as well, which is also a walk-in. This closet's pretty good. It's got some shelf space in it right here, and there's another bar where you can hang even more stuff up, and this top shelf kind of wraps around the entire closet. So you've got two walk-in closets. I don't necessarily know if you're gonna need additional storage space, but if you do, the bedroom itself is more than large enough to allow you to do that. But I think the best part of all about this room is that it also has its own bathroom. So let's take a quick look at this while we're here. Oh man, this is gorgeous. This is incredible. So this looks like it's actually a bath and a half. That's right, you've got a full shower and tub on this side of the sink. And then on the other side of the sink, you've got a beautiful shower with a glass door. So this room would actually be best for a master bedroom because it's got a bath and a half attached to it and it's got these two big closets. This is awesome. This is an incredible bedroom. Great setup right here. I love this. Definitely a thumbs up. Let's walk down the hall here and we'll check out the other bedroom and see how it compares. All right, here we are in the other bedroom and this is a great room as well. It's not the master bedroom, but it's still excellent. The view here is really good. It's pretty much the same view that we had out of the master bedroom, but since it's to the right of the living room, your view of Queens is a little bit better than it is of your view of Manhattan. But either way, there's a ton of light coming in. We've got these floor to ceiling windows that you see in all of the rooms and light in here is not a problem. This room's always gonna feel sunny and nice no matter what time of year it is. And the size is absolutely incredible. Let's measure this one and see what we're dealing with. Now I'm only measuring to the heater, so there's definitely some space that I'm not counting, but I'm getting 10 feet 11 inches by 12 feet 9 inches. And this is great. Whatever size bed you wanna have, go ahead, put it in here, it's gonna fit. And look at that closet, this is incredible. It's not a walk-in closet, but it doesn't need to be because there are three different levels here where you can hang stuff up. There's plenty of shelf space, and I personally would have a tough time filling this up. And if you did fill this up, the room itself is big enough where you could put in extra storage like a standing closet or a dresser. This room is also a total winner. Now the next thing we have to look at is the placement of the washer dryer and the remaining bathroom. So the remaining bathroom is right here next to where this bedroom is and the washer dryer is right here tucked away in a closet 
between the kitchen and this other bathroom. So very convenient. You've got laundry in the apartment. You've got two bathrooms. Let's take a quick look here at this second bathroom and see how it is. This is also awesome. It's got a full-size bath with a tub, plenty of mirrors, plenty of storage space. This is a great bathroom. And the lighting in here is really good as well. And it feels roomy. This is not a tight, small bathroom. It's not like there's one amazing bathroom and then one bathroom that's cutting corners. No, this is an excellent bathroom. If you want to rent this awesome apartment, let me know. My contact information, it's in the video description. And if you're not convinced that Roosevelt Island is an absolute steal of a neighborhood compared to the rest of Manhattan, check out this playlist right here and see some apartments that are in Manhattan and let me know how they compare. I'll see you in the next video.